Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, we're going to take a look at my Snowflake Novel Builder fiction writing AI workflow in Closer's Copy. So, uh, this is the best AI story generator that I've managed to come up with so far. Uh, I know a lot of people are interested in being able to write fiction using Closer's Copy, and I'm one of them. And so I've been working on a number of different tools and the first one that I'm ready to kind of release to the public is uh, the Snowflake Novel Builder, which is a workflow and it contains four frameworks which are not actually designed to write fiction for you, but are designed to help you get through the initial ideation and brainstorming process of uh, kind of inventing the idea and the, the outline for a novel or a novella or a story that has chapters in it. Um, so the first thing to note is that we are using Story AI. If you come down here, you can see you are using and which of the three AI models it's using. Uh, so we want to use Story AI because uh, we're writing stories. And um, this, is, uh, this workflow is in a category called Fiction and it's called the Snowflake Novel Builder by Alex Tucker. Uh, so you can find it by searching my name or the name of it. So we're just going to open this up and inside we have four steps. We have the story ideas generator, we have the plot outline generator, we have the character extractor, and we have the chapter outline generator. And you might notice that these are all Mark II because I actually created a number of different variations of each of them before creating one that I was happy with. And then I ended up changing the ones that I was happy with significantly to make them a little bit simpler and a little bit better. Uh, so that's what became Mark II. Um, so I've been doing a lot of different stuff with these, uh, putting a lot of different samples through them because that's really the only way to test them is to run them over and over again and see what comes out. And uh, so if we just go to use example, the one that I one one that I put in as the example is warlocks for the topic and uh, genre is, you can put more than one genre here, but just fantasy for now. Maybe we'll put fantasy sci-fi or fantasy, yeah, okay, we'll do fancy sci-fi. And for the topic, it can, uh, it, I think it works best if it's something very simple, like one word, like warlocks, but it could be something, um, it could be something more complex, like warlocks from outer space. So let's actually run that and see what we get back. And so what this one does is, uh, if you're not familiar with the Snowflake novel building method, it's basically a method where you start off with just an idea of what you wanna write about, and then you turn that idea into one sentence that explains the story as, you know, as simply as it can. And then you take some time and you turn that one sentence into a paragraph and then you take some more time and you turn that one paragraph into like about a page and then you turn that page into multiple pages and then you eventually just kind of keep expanding it until you have like a really good outline and you have some stuff written already and then you start you know writing it as you normally would um, but so it's it's a, it's a novel building method that I like uh, it's one that I used to use when I used to write fiction professionally and uh, so let's take a look at what we got here. So our topic is warlocks from outer space, genre is fantasy sci-fi. And so like I said, this is just gonna give us a bunch of one word ideas for stories. So we have a group of witches from an alternate dimension are kidnapped by aliens and taken back to their home planet where they are held prisoner by their enemies. Group of witches, it's kind of weird how it's saying witches and not warlocks in this one. But anyways, if we go down here, now it's warlocks. A war, warlock from an alien world is assigned to destroy a human girl, but he finds himself falling for her instead. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Maybe we'll just go with that so we don't have to go through too many more. But you can see there's lots, lots and lots of ideas here. And so then basically what we do is we take a idea, a story idea that we like, and we copy it and we go to step two. And in step two, you put in a story idea and you put in the genres again, the same genres that you used in the previous step. So it was fantasy and sci-fi. And you put the story idea in here. And when you run the plot outline generator, what it does is it takes the story idea and it expands it into um, uh, basically like a, a few paragraphs. 
Um, or I mean, it could be like condensed into one paragraph, but the way I have it broken down is it kind of goes into multiple paragraphs and uh, it's broken down into just a basic structure of beginning, middle, end, resolution. Uh, you could also look at this as introduction, rising action, climax, resolution, or a denouement, um, which is how I was taught story structure in high school. Um, so it's basically, it's a, it's, it's, it's a three act structure with an ending on it, or if you want to call it a four act structure or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's just a very simple way of breaking down a story outline. Um, so let's see what we have. Uh, so the, the idea was a warlock from an alien world is designed to destroy a human girl, but he finds himself falling for her instead. Then over here we have an alien warlock is tasked with taking a young, with taking a young girl from earth. Maybe that's supposed to say taking out. He takes on a form of human so he can better understand human behavior, but when the girl escapes, he begins to fall in love with her. After many trials and tribulations, the warlock and the girl begin a relationship. They decide to escape the planet together, but as they get closer to their destination, they realize the girl's family is not as friendly as they seem. And they make it, they make it to their destination, but it seems the girl's family has other plans for her. The warlock and the girl make a final stand against the family, but as it turns out, it is the warlock who is being hunted. Hmm. The warlock and the girl are reunited and live happily ever after. So that's that's not really like a complete idea. There's obviously some stuff missing there that you'd have to fill in the blanks um, or change, you know, tweak things. But it's an, an interesting one. Uh, let's take a look at this next one. An alien warlock and his friend visit Earth to collect specimens of life forms on the planet. They find a human girl and decide to destroy her. It's not very nice. The two alien warlocks fall in love with the human girl. They decide, they discover that she is destined to be a powerful sorceress. The two alien warlocks help her destroy the evil beings that have been using her to create havoc. Ooh. The two alien warlocks return to their home world. The girl, human girl returns to her father and they live happily ever after. So that one's a little bit, uh, a little bit more complex and a little bit uh, confusing as a result. So basically what you want to do is, you know, find one that you like and then modify it so that it all makes sense and so that uh, it, you know, it, it's, it's what you want it to be. Let's, let's, let's take a look at this one. Uh, an alien warlock is sent to Earth to destroy a human girl, but he falls in love with her instead. The warlock and the girl try to get back to their home world, but okay, that doesn't make sense. Warlock from an alien world is assigned to destroy a human girl who has killed many of his people. He learns of her true nature and falls in love with her. The warlock's attempts to destroy the girl lead him to a conflict between his homeworld and his human host, leaving them both stranded on Earth. The warlock and the girl return to their homeworld, and he realizes that the humans, and it's getting, it's getting the homeworld complicated again here. Um, an alien warlock finds a human girl in distress and decides to help her. He finds himself drawn to the girl's beauty and finds himself falling for her. The warlock is in love with the girl, but he is a warlock and she is human, so they can't be together. The warlock decides that the only way to win her heart is to take her human form and make her his own. The warlock brings the girl back to his world and they are married, they live happily ever after. In a twist of fate, the warlock finds out that the girl is actually a princess and has been on his planet all along. Okay, that doesn't really make sense. I think the first one was probably the best. Um, alien warlock is tasked by take, with taking. All right, so I'm just gonna put this down here. Click this plus button to add it into the document. And so we have beginning, an alien warlock is tasked with taking out a young girl from Earth. He takes on a form of human so he can better understand human behavior, but when the, but when the girl, that doesn't really make sense, so we'll say when he meets the girl, he begins to fall in love with her. Middle. After many trials and tribulations, the warlock and the girl begin a relationship. They decide to escape the planet together, but they, the closer they get to their destination, they realize the girl's family may not be as friendly as they seem. They make it to their destination, but it seems the girl's family has other plans for her. The warlock and the girl make a final stand against the family, but as it turns out, it is the warlock who is being hunted. The warlock and the girl are reunited and live happily ever after. Okay, so that's, that's not bad. There's still some stuff missing, but it's workable. So now we're going to copy this. And go to step three, which is the character extractor. So we're going to put in our uh, chapter outline and hit write for me. And this is going to basically give names and uh, a bit of a description to the main characters that we mention. So it'll probably talk about the warlock, it'll probably talk about the girl, 
and it sh it might also mention some members of her family or some other type of uh, villain character. So let's see, we have protagonist. Uh, the protagonist is a warlock named Dario. He is tasked with taking out a young girl named Anna from Earth. He takes on the form of a human so he can better understand human behavior. Antagonist. The antagonist is a young girl named Anna. She is a young woman with great potential and has been raised by family who she thought was loving, but they are actually cruel and controlling. And love interest. The love interest is Anna's best friend named Alice. She is the one who brings the two together and helps them escape to their new home. So that's very interesting. It's, it's added a it's added a definite wrinkle in this one, but let's take a look at another. Uh, the protagonist is a warlock named Raoul. He is in love with the girl he was sent to Earth to take out. Antagonist. The antagonist is the father of the girl he is assigned to kill. He is a powerful wizard, and his daughter is his only heir. Love interest. Love interest is the girl he is assigned to kill. Okay. So it's not giving names in this one, which is unfortunate. It's supposed to. Or it, it, named, the, the, uh, it named him Raoul, but it didn't give the rest of the names. Let's see what this one does. Uh, the protagonist is a warlock named Ethan, who is tasked with taking out a young girl from Earth. He takes on a form of humans so we can better understand human behavior. Antagonist, the antagonist is a young girl named Alice. She is a powerful witch who uses her magic to help people. When Ethan takes on the form of a human, he falls in love with her. Uh, love interest is apparently... Okay, so it's being a bit weird there. That's a very confusing one. Okay, uh, we're going to run this one one more time. So... Basically what this does is it it just kind of it provides usually three or four um, different characters broken out of the uh, the plot outline and it's supposed to name them and um, also uh, you know give give them a role that makes sense within what the story says but none of those were quite working for me so uh, protagonist. The protagonist is an alien warlock named Arno who is sent to take care of a young girl named Annabelle from Earth. He is able to understand human behavior through his human disguise, but when he begins to fall in love with Annabelle, he begins to question his purpose. The antagonist is Annabelle's father who believes that he knows what is best for Annabelle. The love interest is Annabelle, a young woman who lives with her father and sister. When Arno takes on a human form to discover, to understand human behavior, he falls in love with her. Uh, side characters. The side characters include Annabelle's father who is a businessman, has no interest in Annabelle's life and Annabelle's sister who's interested in the alien warlock. Okay, so that's uh, that's actually a pretty good one right there. So we'll add this to the document. And then we go to step four, which is a chapter outline generator. So here we put our story outline, including all the beginning, middle, and resolution. Story outline goes there. And then we put our, um, our character outlines in here. And this is going to generate some uh, chapter outlines for us. So basically, it's going to give us a very, a very basic breakdown of uh, some chapter ideas, some kind of like an, an arc for the story, and uh, it's going to give us a pretty good starting point for um, continuing to build out our no our snowflake novel structure. Arno is tasked with hunting down a young woman named Annabelle, and he takes on a human disguise to help him. Chapter 2. Arno falls in love with Annabelle, and he begins to question his purpose. He is also wondering, he is also beginning to wonder if he can truly love a human. Chapter 3. Annabelle's father is suspicious of Arno's interest in his daughter, and he believes that he knows what is best for her. He hires Arno to kill her, but Arno has other plans. Okay, that's, that goes a little bit off the rails there. Um, Arno is able to convince Annabelle to leave with him, but they are forced to run away when Annabelle's father comes to find them. Arno and Annabelle make it to their destination, and she begins to realize that her father is not as friendly as he appears. Um, okay, so it's, it's being a little bit literal there. So it's not doing a great job of sticking to it. Um, I've seen it do a lot better than this. But you have to play around with it. You have to run, a few, run it a few times. And again, uh, really the idea is just to give you kind of something to start from and uh, and give you ideas that you can work with so that you're not uh, you're not thinking on your own you're not like you know just like sitting there you know just coming up with ideas yourself and not having any any anyone else contribute it's kind of like having a writing assistant right and uh, also just to uh, you know kind of help inspire stuff uh, so that is the fiction workflow that is my snowflake novel builder um, again, you can find it. Uh, I'll add it to the community workflows library, and I will also add the um, 
the frameworks to the frameworks library so that you can access them uh, as a unit or individually. And uh, let me know what you think of this and let me know if you uh, have any requests for future frameworks. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.